Hello and welcome to this um, impromptu video that I did not plan at all. When I got up this morning I did not expect to be making a video about a dating sim. I've never played a dating sim, it's not a genre I'm generally interested in. But then I went and found something on Steam, stumbled upon something on Steam, called Daltown Phone Dating Sim. And first of all the screenshots look kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. And what drew me to this thing actually were the reviews. Um, there are a total of 130 reviews. One is negative and it says sucks after one hour on record. So that guy played or girl played for uh, over an hour. But the other 129 reviews are positive. Which makes me think either it's sort of fake reviews, but the game doesn't honest I don't want to be unfair to the developer, but this doesn't look like a game where anyone would actually invest that kind of resources to get fake reviews. This looks like a very small indie title that might actually be fun for reasons I can't really understand. <laughs> Just the text in the screenshots is amazing. So there's a demo. So I'm going to play the demo here and if I like it, I will buy the game. So without saying much more, let's go into the game. And hope my recording doesn't break when it switches, probably switches resolution. We'll find out. Okay, it doesn't switch resolution at all because it's in a windowed mode. Yeah, that's full screen. Oh, coding still works. Nice. Keyboard config. Okay, let's see the controls. Jesus Christ. Fast forward. Shift is log. Menu music is fun already. M is menu. Okay, space is okay. Enter. Okay, I'm I'm sure I will get the gist of it. So I don't know. I really don't know what to uh, expect here. <laughs> the exit option is called Crash the Game. I already like the the humor of this thing. Okay, so new game. Everything recording. Yeah. Arrow keys, move the cursor, enter, left mouse space select, escape, back, F4, toggle full screen. Oh, nice. Shift, bring up, conversation, log, Q, skip dialog. Okay, they explain it. I like that. And they tell you that the key bindings can be altered. Funny enough, uh, I got a game lately for free, I know, but still, on the Epic Game Store, that was pretty nice, but it didn't have changeable keys. How do you fuck this up? But that doesn't matter f for this game. Hello. Welcome to the Dial Town phone dating sim demo. <laughs> you must now answer this hound's questions three. All right, let's do it. Is there any particular reason that you're speaking in all caps? Wait, I'm me right now? Or me right now? Do I look sober enough to answer that question accurately? You look like a fucking hound. That's as hurtful as it is accurate, you know? <laughs> I like the graphics. Alright now, if you'd shut up I can ask you what your name is. Oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? Okay. My name is Oliver. Oliver, huh? Man, that's a fruity name. <laughs> is it? I've never personally met anyone named Oliver who wasn't gay, an orphan, or of course, a gay orphan. Funny enough, I am adopted, so close enough. 
Oh hey, there's an Oliver in Dial Town. You can meet him over in the cinema in Uptown, if you feel like it. Uh, neat thanks, character creation dog. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare tell me what to do. I, I like those dark shifts all of a sudden. Anywho, second question. Select a head. Note, head selection only affects compatibility with dateable characters and doesn't directly indicate gender. That's the next question. Okay. What the phone? Haha, <laughs> nice. Enjoy having telemarketers living in your head. <laughs> well, I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. My greatest burden is remembering where I've buried my old breadsticks at any given time. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. <laughs> now, final question. What gender do you want to be? Gender only affects how you're referred to in dialogue. It doesn't affect the NPCs you can date or restrict what endings you can get. So you can be any gender and date anyone of any gender, which is perfect. Um, okay, boy, girl, girl, <laughs> Catholic or other. Okay, I'm a boy. <laughs> I love the Catholic. I'm a boy. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, enjoy having the innate ability to open pickle jars, I guess. Thanks, Daddy Doggo. What did I say about calling me? <laughs> All right, then. Get out of my sight. Okay, I like the humor. I like the humor already. <laughs> the graphics are so bad. Which is part of the charm. You sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. The fuck? Darn. I hate it when I do that. My testes are firm and ripe. Accurately. Must be getting ready to hatch. The time for reproduction is now. <laughs> I love this. I must find I must find a dank dark pit to lay my eggs in. Dank dark pit, huh? Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. It's also associated with children, so that's weird. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. I must go to the carnival. Okay. Also must drink. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close, yet so far. Must gain entry. Must penetrate the fences of mile-high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator. Need lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. Please don't bang on the glass, it scares Jerry. Greetings, ticket buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, sir? Nah, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. This year. <laughs> I simply wish to find a fetid hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Ah, shoot, I was so close, too. 
Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park? Oh no, my cover has been blown. Look, sir, I'm only telling you this because your stench is just gonna drive away customers if I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. I'm late. Valentine's was a few days ago. Valen what? Valentine's Day? Isn't that for romantic people? It's a day designed by the chocolate flower industry where single dads drink a bottle of gin for dinner. <laughs> Accurate, I guess. Wait, why am I explaining this to you? You're barely sentient. <laughs> Look, hissing and drunken single dads aside, Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. L love? What on God's green earth is that? Or is this love thing a type of feeling? I don't really do those. Thanks. That's definitely my answer. Well, sorta. Love is what happens when two, when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs, elixirs and nectars together. Nectars, eh? When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. That's one hell of a description. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner, your partner will take your kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you but makes 6% more per year than you and you can finally have a good night's sleep. Life is horrible. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in like a parasite? Granted, it'd take a real bastard to mission acquired. Oh god, fucking must source mate. Okay, uh, go do that. Away from here. Okay, me go now. Just so you see, Mr. Jerry Ticket, I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Hey, Ticket Jerry, are you by any chance free? And no, I don't want to go for a man. I'm personally straight, so I'll do that in the game as well. Unless someone's really hot, then I might change my mind. <laughs> just, to, just so you see, Mr. Jerry Ticket, I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Please don't come back at all. Scuttle away. This would be, this could be so amazing with uh, actual voice actors because me reading it is not quite the same. Chapter one, the funfair date. Ooh, a modern phone. How enticing. Also means it's young. Oh well, it's a foam. Ah, tent, sweet tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know? Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? Ugh, do I have to? Great stuff, let's go lay these eggs. boy. Friendly reminder. You can bring up the main menu at any point using the escape key, including during NPC dialogue and during player choices. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. That's nice. Because I assume there's multiple paths to go down here. Use this, use this if you want to do something, but feel as, uh, as though it may get you arrested or killed. There are darker options in this game, I feel. What the fuck was that? Time to save. Playtime, 12 minutes. That's saved. Okay, nice. Leave your tent open menu. G 
give up. I can just give up. Honestly, if I'm actually playing me, that would probably be the most likely scenario. I would just give up. But it's a game, so I won't. Leave your tent. Where would you like to go? Actually, scratch that. To the park, nearby playground, uptown, downtown. Playground is creepy because kids, so let's go to the park. To the park! A bench. Ah, the park. You could go roll you could go roll around on the nice spring grass unless you mind getting a few discarded syringes stuck in your arm. Oh, fancy park. So what now? Lie down on the grass because I want syringes in my arms. It's relaxation time, friendos. You have friends? Shut. Ah, isn't this just tranquil? It really is quite serene, yes. It's good to get away from the big city and my tent. The one you're like two yards further away from? Yeah, the peacefulness really helps unclench the old sphincter, right? Sure. Why don't I do this more often? Why don't I actually? Well, usually the grass here is laden with blades, syringes and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that... Ouch. What the fuck? Good thing I saved. <laughs> so stupid. What the fuck? God, fuck my arm. Oh God, oh fuck, oh shit, oh no. Ouch. Yeah, I think I can see a scratch or two, alright? This is why I hate nature and shit. Yeah. Well, technically, syringes are completely man-made and used, so like... Silence, narrator. Narrator, actually. Yeah, you might want to find a band-aid or tin for a few of those little scrapes if you can. Then again, you're penniless and bandages don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but used syringes grow in fields? <laughs> actually, good point. How is that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you wounded crybaby. Hiss! <laughs> Come on, back to the park we go then. So I'm gonna die from several diseases. Oh, we can just leave the area. Okay, leave the area. Where would I like to go? Still don't want to go to the playground. Let's go to Uptown Downtown. With my broken, diseased arm. Ah, Uptown Downtown. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Downtown. So, what now? <laughs> Summon a local hobo. Now, let's talk to a local bystander first. Ooh, a mobile phone. How they do, green partner? The name's Mikey, which is short for... Ba Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. <laughs> hey, my name is Oliver. Nice to meet you. Me, Oliver. Hello. I don't know exactly what the red option means, other than maybe bad things. Me, Oliver. Hello. Let's go with that. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, partner. So what can I do for you on this fine spring afternoon? Hello. <laughs> Can you take me to the fun fair, please? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Aw, oh, shucks, partner. I would, don't get me wrong. But alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. Alright. Yeah, look at that. Dialtown's newest best-selling writer. That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use you for a free ticket anyway, so no hard feelings. Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker into paying me into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you see. Mere lichen. Pond scum. I think that's what you say. P lichen? Hmm. Well, now, ain't that a coinky dink? Never heard that. Coincidence. Coinky dink. Yeah, okay. All of my best tellers happen to be about parasites of all kinds. That is a coincidence. You won't find a man who knows more about paras parasitism in all of Daltown, partner. Speaking of. Let me know what I can do for you, because any longer and I'll be running tardy. 
so it's this book about him like in past facts if you're into parasites. So if you're into parasite, no, I don't wanna go with this guy. Hey Mike, give me a parasite fact. You know, there's a whole world of screwed up critters out there and I love all of it. You know, there's a critter out there, a little isopod called a tongue louse that lives in the ocean and, oh boy, it crawls into a fish's mouth, rips off the fish's tongue and becomes its new tongue. Honestly, that's pretty relatable. Sounds like something I totally do. Thanks for the fact. My insights feel itchy now. This is so weird. I love it. Anytime, partner. Okay, so what's your latest book about? Let's see if we can make him run late to his book signing. My current my current book's all about people. Parasites. People parasites. Okay. Like Willow Me? Nah, people, you know? Flesh colored bipedal critters. Flesh colored means nothing to me. Flesh can be different colors. Can't say I ever seen it green though, partner. I I mean, look at my arm. Don't suppose you want a copy of my latest book, would you? Uh, are, are there pictures in it? Sure are, partner. At least one per chapter. Are there words? Would I have to read? Yeah, I mean, it is a book. Pass. Hard pass. I don't do read. Well, shocks. Can't say I didn't try. Is that it then, partner? I mean... Yes. Time for me to scuttle off then. Ladies. Right on then. Sayonara, partner. Summon a local hobo, because why not? Hobo of Dialtown, Town, I summon thee. Oh, oh boy, it went. The dog. Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? Are you indeed a hobo? What a question to ask anyone. Well, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleys and such, but being a hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, the thing is I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Comprehensive. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. You look like a hobo. Those things aren't mutually exclusive, friendo. So if you're God, then how did you end up creating everything? You ever like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box and only find a new species evolved from the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? No. This world is my takeout box and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Wow. Are you drunk right now? Is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. Then I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure, yes. I know the feeling. Let's punch God, just because we can. You fool. I'm a god, how can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? I... Okay, I appear to have just cheated myself. <laughs> you win this round, green one. What's your favorite hobby? You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock it till you've tried it. I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? At least forage for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken glass and shiny rocks? See? There we go. Fear God, what's the meaning of life then? You want me to come up with a reason for all of this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. 
I probably ate trash, knowing me. Um, so, can you, like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Nah, fuck that. Why don't you come up with the meaning of life? It'd probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think up. Don't be sure of that. I think life has no meaning and you're all full of shit. I don't know, man. In fairness, I am full of shit, don't get me wrong. But there probably is a reason we're all here. Whatever the heck that could be. I like that heck was censored. <laughs> well, if the, if the reason is so important, then how on earth could you forget it? Now hang on there, I've got enough people misquoting me as is. I simply stated that there was probably a reason, not that said reason made sense or was even remotely important. Fair point. Please do remember, I'm just a little creature at the end of the day. I know not what I do. Aren't you also like God? Yeah, unless the tax man asks. You think having a yacht eats you straight into the top tax band? Oh. Try legally owning the whole fucking universe and every bullshit creature residing in it. I pay my fair share in agony already. Thank you very much, Mayor. Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? That's a weird question to ask in all of this situation. What is a traffic cop to a god? And what is God to a non-believer? That's a perfect comeback. Honestly, no judgment here, pal. <laughs> I don't really believe in myself either, to be frank. Oh, that hurts. Poor little god. Can you pay me into the funfair, God? I mean, he is God. Uh, God, how much would that even cost? Two bucks. One, maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Aren't you God? Don't you control reality? Control reality? Ha! <laughs> Look up the shit show happening on this bastard of an orb we call Earth right now. Do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? No. You wanna fix shit? You be God for a day. No, thank you. That seems... I'm gonna punch him again. <laughs> Just because I can. I can. Okay. I gotta get it going. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? Gotta lay me some eggs, actually. I'm heavily pregnant. I gotta pay child support to that which I wasted 10 years of my life with. I'm taking that. <laughs> Sucks to be you. He's got a point. I'm glad I don't have any outstanding child support pay me meds. Sharon, wait, no, the kids, please. <laughs> I can summon a local hobo again. Is he gonna come back if I do? Hobo of Daltown, I summon thee. I guess, yeah, okay, it's, it's back. Did you kind of say anything? Oh, hey, buddy. What's the haps? Okay, gotta get going. I thought maybe there would be some interesting comment. Okie dokie, ciao, see you in your dreams. Leave the area. I, ooh, I have more options now. Neat. <laughs> downtown, downtown. Sneak onto the subway. To a local park, to your tent, local phone shop, local cinema, lo local phone shop. Why not? I have no idea what I'm doing. <coughs> Why'd you wander in here, Oliver? A phone shop of all places? I doubt they do repairs for people with stitched together flesh heads, you know, if that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatsoever up, whatever's up with you as of late. Something wrong, Oliver? The, the, the phone. It's ringing. Someone. Someone answer the goddamn phone. Gabby. Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. What's up? What are you hauling for, huh? Where am I? Is, is this heaven? No way this place is too drab for that. I need to drink more. All this talking is drawing me out something fierce. Is this the River Styx, perhaps? 
Oh, I gotcha, because of all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, hon. They're just empty cases. I, I don't understand. Do you wanna understand? Well, yeah, what is this place? <laughs> no, I thrive in ignorance. Leave me be. Can you just give me a brief summary? No, I'm gonna be nice. Well, yeah, what is this place? We're standing in the downtown phone store. Shop's near 100 years old now. Set up by my pa, God rest his soul. Shop initially sold whole phones. Telephones. But with them being so common nowadays. Well, we've adapted to fit the current market. Not every purchase has to break the bank, you know. A hundred pieces sell just as good as one complete phone, I find. Same thing goes for most aspects of life, I also find. Just talking a lot. There's nothing wrong with building yourself up bit by bit. Now, if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. Fine, thanks. Can you take me to the fun fair? Just straight up ask. I met her five seconds ago. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? How is this place still in business? Yeah. Selling telephones seems a bit like selling air, since, you know, half of all people have telephones built onto their shoulders. Well, like I said when you first came in, I still move phones, don't you worry. Just piece by piece. Just gotta know how to adapt. Speaking of actually selling pieces, I'm fine, thanks. Can you Let's have her talk some more. Tell me about yourself. You wanna know about me? Oh, well, I'm not all that interesting. Just being alive long enough to hear a few interesting notions. Meet a few interesting people. I'm old if your eyes ain't doing so hard. Sorry, I meant optical sensors or whatever they're called now. The way I see it, if you see with them, they're eyes. Can't go on with that. Don't matter if your head's on a phone, a typewriter or what have you. Anyway, my story ain't much to tell. If life was a story, I'm sure it'd be one of those bit characters, you know the sort? Just sitting around the same place all day, just waiting to be found, so I could share what I know about our funny little world. My father probably would have been a better person to talk to, you know? He set up shop here a few shakes after the telegram went away of the dodo. Would you believe my pop sold Callum Crown his first telephone back in 42? Who is Callum Crown? We've been in downtown for a long time, our line. In a way, I like to think that we're a part of history, even if only just. Who's Callum Crown? Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know, that's why I'm asking. The inventor, man who built a very fast phone head. Fellow became mayor of this here town, then president of this here country. Okay. Of course, this was all just before the worldwide dialogue, mind you. If it weren't for him, we'd still have our old fleshy heads and the world be nothing like it is now. Doesn't sound bad. Did you know Colin personally? Wait, so wait, you were alive before the worldwide dialogue? Yeah, when I was a little girl, whole world of flash heads. No phones, typewriters. I mean, we had phones and typewriters around in our homes and businesses, sure. Just not mounted to our shoulders. That would have been considered weird. True. So were animals different too? Would I have been considered normal without my flash phone head? Yeah, let's go with that. Well, no, since we didn't have green skin or six nipples, neither. Just no machine heads. World was pretty much the same otherwise. I was born in the wrong era. You say that, but in the olden days, you would have been considered a witch or a monster. And in the future, 
you'd definitely get stopped at Alien Customs. Alien Customs. But I'm considered a monster now. Am I one? Aren't we all just a bit? Oh, philosophical answer. Sorry, you got any more questions to ask? Yeah, fun fair. Can you take me to the fun fair? Hmm. Did you know Colin personally? Most of the town did then, when I was a little girl. Couldn't avoid the fellow when he was campaigning for mayor and then president. Something about him was infectious. He knew just what he wanted. He had a vision, a dream. Fellows like him, it don't matter what they do or where they go. They just attract power. <laughs> it's definitely not me. Sometimes that ain't the best thing for everyone, though. And that's the last thing I'll say on the subject. Hmm, hit a spot there. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? <gasps> Shock. Believe me, Han, I'm flattered. But, nah, I've got to sort of manage, I'm afraid. Oh, come on, this place is deserted. No, I'm not going to say that. That would be impolite. Is it me? No, I mean... Come on, be honest. Look, Han, I'm sure you'll find someone who isn't whatever it is that you are. Keep searching. God knows I get weird customers in here. If you know where to look for them. I don't want to be bound to take you. So don't give up. <laughs> it has to be you. I crave elderly romance. <laughs> no. Thanks for the encouragement, Gabby. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna bo You gonna buy something or... No, I don't have money. I'm fine, thanks. See ya. <laughs> Alright, take care now. You hear? Ah, leave the shop. Now we're gonna save. I'm gonna forget saving all the time. Uh, file two. I have many files. I'll show you them. I, this is a demo. I didn't think this demo would go on this long, honestly. Okay, leave the area. Where would you like to go? Sneak into the subway to downtown. Downtown, downtown. Local cinema. Yeah, let's stay local to the local stuff and then we'll see where we can go from there. I don't know how long I will record. I was expecting this to be half an hour or something. Local cinema, here we come. I mean, maybe the game would just shut up at some time and say, hey, you have to buy the rest. What would you like to do now? <coughs> Damn it. I don't talk that much usually. <coughs> Summon an employee. Mm. Hey, sir, welcome to. Hang on, just a jiffy. Green skin, five, no, six nipples. Your head, made from stitched together flesh, or perhaps a skillful combination of burlap and letters. Can I. Can I feel your head? Oh, this is the guy named Oliver that's also... Oh, okay. Please touch my flesh head. No. I'm not gonna let him touch me. His name is Oliver, so yes. Okay, but be gentle. I'm delicate. Don't worry, honey. I can be as smooth as an infant's ball sack. How do you know what an inf infant's ball sack is like? I don't want to know. Bitch, you is fine. <laughs> His sense of humor is such, such a fun. Sick. Hey, uh, look, I know this might be kind of forward, but you don't know that it's Valentine's Day today, right? Needless dishonesty. And no, no, this is the first time hearing of this. Yeah, the first. I just lied to the guy. Oh, gnarly, that bodes well for me then. Like a surfer dude or what? Well, I was just wondering. Would you like to perhaps, you know, go on a date with me tonight? Go out with you on a what now? A date, you know, hanging out with me tonight? Romantically? 
I'm surprised. I did not see this eventuality coming. I want to say no, actually. This isn't an awful common event. That is true. Give me one reason why I wouldn't want to ask you out. If you see me, I got about six reasons. <laughs> they're all nipples. And they're green. I asked for a reason why I wouldn't want to ask you out. Not for six perks for doing so. What a charmer. You're a strange little goblin man. Guilty as charged, you're gnarliest. Jesus Christ, this guy is cringy. So, how about it? <laughs> yes, take me now. I don't know, man. I might need for the convincing or... I don't want, no, I don't want to go with this guy. I'm taken already tonight. Get lost, nerd. I would never ever say that in real life to anyone for any reason. This hurts me. But I want to find a nice looking phone. Not a dirty uh, old hardline. Especially one named Oliver. Oh. But wait, you said you didn't know it was shot. Right, I see that's groovy. Is there anything else I can do for you then? I destroyed his confidence. I shall. I yearn for nothing more. I shall depart now. Thanks. I've considered. I've reconsidered. Take me out, play to daddy. Play to daddy. <laughs> All right, let me save. I <laughs> his name is Oliver. He's goofy. He's an idiot. He's like me. How can I not say yes? Alright. Not gonna find a girl. Apparently I'm gonna go with Oliver. Which is weird. My kind of weird. I've reconsidered. Take me out. Play to daddy. Stella! Cringy surfer talk. Now I'm not that sad on this... Oh. Just... I couldn't read that. Fun fair. Oh man. You wanna go to the fun fair with me? Gnarly! I haven't been there in forever. Yeah, there's no skate park there. I need to state this for legal reasons, I'm sure. This might be less of a purely romantic engagement. And more of a me laying my ex at the fun fair kind of arrangement. Wait, you're... Are you an egg layer? I certainly hope I am. I'm not emotionally ready to give birth to puppies. Or, as far as I know, the thing, things struggling within my swollen gut seem perfectly round. Those are both weird answers, but I like the first one more. Dude! I mean, I love puppies as much as the next fella, but... Whoa! I can't believe I... Okay, look, I'll cut you a deal. I'm kind of working on a movie right now. See, this place ain't doing so groovy right now on account of a few disturbing rumors about the building. But I'm hoping that producing a film here in downtown and then hosting some sort of gnarly premiere would blow the lid of just how gnarly this place truly is. And, you know, and save the business, most importantly. It's one hell of a deal to save the business. Having footage of a genuine egg-laying, one that takes place right here in town, no less. Why, I could see this movie having a truly bodacious premiere. This is like Bill and Ted, for fuck's sake. You want me to, to lay eggs on camera? This is getting weirder every second. Yeah, all right, maybe it does sound like a lot. But you'd be doing us a major solid. Plus, those eggs have to be laid anyway, right? And you are looking for some someone to pay with. Well, it's true. This is like symbiosis and junk. So I'd be a star? Well, I am kind of broke at the moment. So I'd be a star? In the same way your average porn star or local raving lunatic caught on camera in an internet viral video would be. Yeah. I'll take it. Not, sh not ashamed to admit that. You need someone to take you, and I need a performer. 
We can kill two condors with one trident. Okay. This sounds hot. I'm in. You're a creepy little man, Oliver. Hard pass. This is what I usually get to hear in real life. Wouldn't I lose my animos... Any, many, uh, any, many... Okay, I'll do it. For my future offspring, Lings. <laughs> Groovy, that's what I like to hear. Groovtacular, truly radical. Ouch. Alright, so thing is, I've got a little more time left on the clock before my shift officially ends. Everything else is recording, yeah. How long, Oliver? Precisely four minutes! What a fucking asshole. <laughs> How will I occup occupy myself for four whole minutes? Well, you could always take a quick look around, see what the cinema has to offer. It's a cinema. We run a tight ship here, and it's all the tighter for being stuck together, but a mystery adhesive display seems to secrete. This is an extraordinary sticky premises, yes. Okay. I could tell. It feels like I'm walking underwater with this sticky carpet. And it's about as easy to breathe underwater, too. Great. Oh my. Do you have gills? <laughs> well, I'm very hard to drown. Believe me, those who have tried can tell you. <laughs> but last I checked, nah. Oh. Okay, go get to know the place. I'll meet you outside in four minutes. Right on there, Leo. See you then. Sure thing, Pete. Is that a reference of some kind? My name's Oliver. You do know that, right? Good for you, kid. Bye. <laughs> okay, I've been recording for 50 minutes now. I did not expect this to go on for this long. Movies this way, no refunds. Mice tails are on the house. What the fuck kind of cinema is this? I don't care for this place very much. Why is that, dear narr narrator? <laughs> Generic remake number 17. You liked the story before? Maybe you'll like it even better with CG. Okay, so, like, this place is obviously incredibly haunted. Nah, yes. It is extraordinarily haunted. Nah, man, what makes you think that? Look. The walls are bleeding. We don't know for a fact that it's blood. Could be ketchup for all we know. Do you consider this wall seeping ketchup from its pores honestly any less abnormal? Okay, fair. But it could be some kind of jam or nectar too. None of those abnormal subs none of those normal substances from movie theater water secret. Well, whatever it is. There's only one way to find out. Lick the wall, can I? Oh, please don't. Yes, I'm gonna lick it. I am begging you, don't lick that. Where or not, it could be jam. Wall jam is not good jam. <laughs> I've made my mind up. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, it is blood. But it's not my blood, so I care very little. Honest. In fact, I'm relieved. It's blood, though. Yeah, but it's not mine, so... Uh, why should I care if it hasn't been stolen from my body? Perhaps, perhaps I should have known. It's the wrong color anyway. You really don't get this, do you? What I don't get is why I shouldn't just go somewhere else. You know, to shut you up. Fine, fine. Besides, I'm sure there's hardly anything here more unsettling than literal blood on the wall. Oh, twins. We're in The Shining. Childa, two of them. Okay, what the fuck? They're just staring right at you. Yeah, kids do that. I don't like their energy. They're evil, Oliver. I'm Oliver in green, the other one's Oliver in red. I like that synergy. Evil. You want to attempt communication? I don't speak Latin, nor crayon. Wait, do kids speak Spanish? 
these particular ones might just speak the same tongue as you and me. Whoa, no way. Say something to them. Hey, Childer, is that his version of children? I don't know. How would, how would you like to clean my tent? That does not sound appropriate for children. <laughs> Why is this always your go-to? <laughs> Come play with us. Okay, fuck this. Let's skedaddle. No, no, let's hear him out. What game do you want to play, dear children? I don't know. A word search, maybe? Sorry, no can do. I'm kind of illiterate. Feel free to complete it on your own, though. Okay. We understand thoroughly. Have a nice day. That was a weird encounter. Huh. I had no ideas. I had no idea kids nowadays could Gaussian blur like that. Can we please just leave this accursed place? Fine, fine. I reckon a good four minutes has passed anyhow. It's a good four minutes spent, actually. Hey, uh, pal, you were gone a good six minutes. Okay. Figured you might have uh, just skedaddled, so to speak. So, how'd you find the place? <laughs> Stickier than my tent. Didn't know that was possible. You ever been to Chernobyl, by chance? Whoa, so the two-headed cinema chicken sightings are legit. Rad. <laughs> this guy is so, so, so cringe. To, I'm paranoid about everything recording right now. Wait, is there a two-headed chicken? Just freely roaming your place of work? According to three sources, one of which is you, yes. I can never seem to spot the damn thing which, with how quickly it scurries around. But man, it sure does a groovy job of cleaning the floors of discarded fl floor corn after hours. This place is weird. I guess that would also explain what's been half-eating our mice. Or oh, only half-eating. You guys have mice too? Well, no whole ones anymore, thanks to the chicken, evidently. Anyway, I was wondering if you wanted to get going. Can I just say no now? I don't like this anymore. The way I figure it, the sooner we get this footage done, the more time we'll have to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Egg laying takes time, my dear olive man. You can't rush perfection. You want to spend time with me after the laying? I'm happy to get this over with, if you are. You want to spend time with me after the laying? I'm happy to get this over with, if you are. Oh, I see. Well, if you're in that much of a rush, I suppose we could get right to the egg laying. I won't hold you up any longer than necessary. Good. Goddamn phone. Anyway, let's just get going. We can continue chatting on the way there. Um, just gonna save here, file number four. Um, this is still the demo. I don't know how long, how much longer this will go on for. Maybe I can just one, do one storyline and there's many more to find. I don't know. Let's just go straight back into it. You know, I'm aware of the Funfair's 2 for 1 ticket thing going on today, but I sincerely doubt you're allowed to just piggyback onto my subway ticket. Unlike the Funfair, this concrete jungle holds no love in its pores. Like any city, actually. Just damp, which I doubt can even be considered much of an emotion at all. Damp is not an emotion. You sure? I feel quite damp right now. Oh please, as if there's any point paying for a ticket. Let's get fucked by the ticket inspector, or whatever it's called in English. Have you ever seen a human down here in uniform? No, I mean... I bought my ticket from a machine, granted. This is truly a sub, uh, a, la, a, la, bleh, 
speaking, not my good thing. This is truly a lawless subterranean frontier. On a side note, thanks for agreeing to do this again. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I know you're benefiting from this too, but believe me, you're doing us a major solid. Surfer bro. <laughs> us? Who's this? Us. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I meant Mr. Dickens. Who the fuck is Mr. Dickens? Oh, Mr. Dickens is my boss. Is he gonna come too? Yeah, he owns the cinema. Work and always has. Work at and always has. Language. He's a top-notch guy. A real class act. Old British chap. Full of vitality. Sounds like he's an asshole and he just doesn't get it. He built the very cinema and work it back in the 1960s as a young entrepreneur. Are you close to him? I sure as heck am, daddy-o. This guy is so cringe. I was only a starry-eyed lad, a mere manling, when I got my job at a cinema. Taught me everything I know about being a man. So, not much. I don't understand. Right, right. You haven't met Mr. Dickens. He has impeccable style, you know? Well, he's British, so that goes without saying. Wears his old suit, uses old British words, always keeps level head. But you said you learned everything from him, right? Right. But you don't talk like a parrot, nor constantly mention fish and chips. Well, no. See, Mr. Dickens' last piece of advice for me was... There's nothing better for a man to do than be an individual. Tally-ho! His last piece of advice, is he dead? Did you add in the tally-ho, or did he actually say it like that? I honestly can't remember. Anyway, I have to find my own path, wear my own clothes, use my own outdated and frankly underrated slang, daddy -o. It is very outdated, yes. When we get back, I'll definitely introduce the two of you to each other. Still have a suspicion he's dead. In a way, you kind of remind me of him with the whole doing your own thing regardless of others laughing or being repulsed by your thing you've got going on. People laugh at me? No, 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 no. What I meant was, I'm shitting you, man. I know people think I'm repulsive. Of course I know. Frankly, I'm amazed that you don't. Really? Why on earth would I? Uh, the usual reasons? I mean, just look at me. I'm not exactly prime rib, you know? Green skin, a few too many nipples, stitched together fleshy phone head. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that, actually. No, I was nowhere near phone Kennedy on the date of... Phone Kennedy? Seriously? My nipples can only shoot so far. <laughs> That's an absolutely riveting diversion. But no, what I meant was... Your phone head. Did you construct it yourself? That's quite a personal question. I, I know, I know. I should know better than to ask that, but... I've never seen one so different before. It's a custom, you could say. Huh. I don't know if you built it yourself, but per se, but how far back was the bell mechanism placed relative to the vestigial cord adapter? I'm not anatomy. That's quite a specific question indeed. Bold of you to assume I'd understand any of those fancy schmancy words. Sorry, I guess I'm just technically minded. Obviously, he is really like me. Holy shit. Always enjoyed dismantling stuff, then putting them back together. Like phone heads on humans? This guy is weird. He really is like me. This is getting scarier by a minute. Rare for an artist, I suppose. Which is why Mr. Dickens gets so much use out of me. I know how to load wheels into our machines and what ought to be on them. Hell, I'm the only one, Big Bertha, let's perform maintenance on her. She's our movie projector, and boy, is she temperamental. So Dickens keeps you busy, then. Well, yeah, but that's how it's gotta be, when you work with the publics, I suppose. 
course, you do tend to get... Sorry, I shouldn't be bad-mouthing customers, especially given how dire things have been lately, financially speaking. Nonsense. The beans spill them. I crave gossip. Oh, all right, all right. I guess it's not like he ever buys anything from us anyway. We have this one little shit stain. His name is Billy. Little Billy. You know that, Brad? He read it on me to the police. That's a story, I don't know. Got me done in for child labor laws. The fuck was I doing? Oh man, that's not cool. I'm sure the judicial, ju uh, I'm sure the judicial, traditional, I can't speak today. System's incredibly biased towards green people. <laughs> yeah, probably. I sprayed in the courtroom. It's a god awful state of affairs. Yeah, this kid, this Fink, he's just... We have a rule at the cinema, it's one of my bosses, obviously. Customer is always exempt from violence. That's strange. That rule complicates dealing with that yard high snot nosed brat. Little Billy doesn't know reason. He simply wishes to watch the world burn. Thank you. Finally, someone else who sees it. I swear that Rugrat gets his, his kicks from inconveniencing me just because he knows that I can only politely ask him to leave in retort. Because if I put my hands around him, no more job. It fucking sucks. The wee fucker can bring in a megaphone, skateboard around, running amok, hitting other customers in the ankles with his board. Yet, I can only use words when dealing with the situation because he's a child. My children are the worst. He's not a child, he's some kind of fun-sized demon. It sucks being an adult and having to use other children to settle disputes by proxy. <laughs> but basically, we're talking about the Cold War with America and, and Russia being the big powers, the adults, and Vietnam's North and South Vietnam being the little children. <laughs> it's accurate. Because if I drop kick a child, oh boy. <laughs> Screw kids getting too soft, half of them are armed. I'm afraid of the idea of having these shitheads everywhere, shit everywhere I go get old and end up defenseless like a tortoise stuck on its back. When I get to the point, shoot me in the stomachs. When I get to that point, I can't read today either. Why did you just pluralize the word stomach? Um, no reason. Sick. Oh, hold on. I think we're near the outskirts of town. You ready to get off? Well, am I, I'm, I'm either laying my eggs here or there. Given the option, I'd rather there. Yeah, plus, I kind of want sole ownership of the footage till the movie is finished. That actually makes sense. After all, I'm hardly going to get many butts on seats if some hipster has the whole gory deal uploaded for free on phone tube. Now am I? Wait, is that like... Is that a porn site? Are you happy in not knowing? <laughs> Jesus, I'm making a porno, great. The answer is yes, it is a porn site. Then yeah, I most certainly am. I'll just not specify in that case. Yeah, it's a porn site. Fuck you, now I know which answer was the correct one. <laughs> Are people going to be aroused by this? Hey, gotta drag the monster fucker crowd in somehow, right? It's getting worse every minute. I love it. Still recording? Yeah. What's up, Jerry? No. Yes. A deal is a deal, you festive gate blocker. I win. Why did you? How did you? I didn't think you'd actually. Of course. Of course, it'll be Oliver of all people. I reiterate, sub Jerry. <laughs> Oliver. Why? Why would you? I don't get what you're insinuating, Jerry. Why on earth would you take 
him here? I think a better question is why on earth wouldn't I, dearest Jerry? Oh, is that his ex or something? Oliver, he's got green skin. And he's also named Oliver. I know. Isn't it gnarly? O Oliver, he's got six nipples. Six for the price of two. <laughs> what a bargain. His head is clearly comprised of stolen skins all stitched together crudely. Crude? I'd like to see your needle work, ticket man. You shut up. Oliver, he only asked you here so you can lay his green axe somewhere on the funfair grounds. Oh, I know. And I'm totally into it, too. <laughs> Good thing I told him the truth. I even brought a camera so I can film it in awe-inspiring, ooh-stacular depravity. Dear Lord. Of course. Of course, it'd be Oliver. Of all people who'd be into this. Great, my name is into this now, all the way. What can I say, Jerry? It's hip to fuck monsters. <laughs> yeah, Jerry. Now, how about two tickets for me and my adoring talent? The tickets. Cough them up, pretty boy. Fine, that'll be two dollars then. It's not even making much money off that. All right, Oliver. You ready to go inside? Encouraging ape noises. Only if you hold my moist green hands. I'm so fucking ready. Ladies first then. Wait, I'm a him. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, Jesus. oh man, I haven't been here in forever. Because of the danger? I, I've never had fun before. Well, Chief, you've just come to the right place then. Nowhere else can an adult man be hurled at 300 or so miles per hour by a giant metallic crab claw operated solely by an untrained and probably morbidly stoned teenager, no less. Is this really like this in America? I have a feeling it is. You're right, that's a truly indigenous experience. To America. So, where do you want me to stand? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, for the footage. You're gonna lay your eggs, right? Yeah, in a dank hole. Well, not now, Oliver. You dumbass. <laughs> oh, oh s sorry, sorry. Alright, how about now? I find it so funny that this guy is named Oliver and I chose to go out with him because it just makes it so much more personal to me. What? Out in the open amongst the common rabble? I think not, pervert. Sorry, sorry. I just presumed since you're like heavily pregnant and whatnot. Okay, how about this? How about we go frolic, have a groovy time, then you can let me know when you're down for us to get shooting. That sounds quite agreeable, yes. Fun, very much so, yes. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I don't know what this thing is called in English, so I can't say it. Ooh, fireworks. Holding hands. How cute. This is fucking hilarious. Ay -ay -ay. All right, here's the spot. Ooh. Dank hole. What do you mean? <laughs> this. This is the perfect spot to lay your eggs. Oh, I see. No, no, no. Listen. Accessible location, speeding distance from the hot dog stand, just off the beaten path enough to be avoided by civilian foot traffic and or ride operators. And best of all, lots of disturbed dirt for you to use to bury your young in order to conceal them from potential predators. This guy knows his shit. Do I normally lay eggs in water like a frog? I can't remember. Horrible location. Very incompetent. Utterly embarrassing. No. I can't remember. Wait. Are you an amphibian? 
I've seldom tried to drown myself, so I'm not certain. Good answer. Uh, hey, hey, that's fine. I, I, I can just pour a couple of two liter bottles of cola onto the mound. Then it'll be plenty aquatic. Right, then the sun bakes the soda into the mold and it'll get all sticky. How am I keen to survive if the hedge already stuck to the ground? I mean, this location has other perks too. Like good lighting to film with the camera. Oh, I see what this is. We've even got a little stage light set up. Where did you get that from? Oh, come on, it's not like that. It's just... Well... We did make a deal. One ticket for one filming. Come on, man, don't hold out on me. Is that the only reason you brought me here? To use me for my egg la egg la egg laden blah, my egg laden laden entrails. My brain does not comprehend language today. Where's this coming from? Isn't the only reason you brought me here to use me for a free ticket? Yes, it is. I thought the deal was fairly cut and dry. Well, maybe feelings change. Maybe I've grown attached. Let's go with that. Fuck it. Okay, look, I... I mean, we can talk about... Yeah, and what's to stop me from just not laying my eggs? I thought you loved me, Oliver. No, I'm just gonna not lay my eggs, even though I'm highly pregnant, apparently. Aren't you, like, heavily pregnant? My point exactly. How long do you honestly think you can hold those little rug reds inside you? If I just keep following you with my camera on standby, I'll eventually get my footage. I can climb. Can you? Groaning. Oh, I'm near. That could mean anything. Okay, I, I look. Right now we're all tangled up in contract. Maybe we should just... If you lay your eggs, we can discuss the footage. I, I'm worried we'll miss the laying. Well, I'm not gonna miss it. I'm pregnant. This thing only has so much battery, and if it wastes, it, then you lay the eggs. Oh God! Times of time of the essence here. None of this adds up. Why on earth do you care if the cinema shuts down? That's true, actually. When you get paid a low wage and get mistreated by customers. It's a good point. I haven't thought about this. Is a mystery novel. Your story doesn't add up. Okay, no, look. Only I hold dominion over my gut, Olive Man. <laughs> olive Man, I like that. <laughs> Protective ape noises, I don't know what those sound like. Okay, look, you've got the wrong idea. I don't... Protective growling. Am I gonna kill him? Please tell me I can kill this guy. This would, be, this would make my day. Okay, compromise. Let me film the laying as we agreed, and then I can explain myself fully, you know, finish my explanation in full. If you're not content with my explanation for literally anything, I'll delete the footage and start again from scratch. Yeah, like you're gonna delete that. You promise? Or like, you, like you'll voluntarily just give up that. Oh, <laughs> I need my axe, apparently. Uh, did, did you get it? Every oozing second. Five eggs only? You also got them all in the hole, even without ample preparation. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> Thanks, I'm a master of steering my own ass. Best answer ever. Use of expertise? You know it, hon. <laughs> so fucking awesome. Right now, explain yourself. Fully. Why do you care so much about some biohazardous cinema's closure? This is actually interesting. Why go to all this trouble? Okay, okay. Look, I've truly explained the basics to you already, definitely. The theater is dying due to the rumors about the place being haunted. But it's greater than that, truly. Our cinema, each and every cinema, in fact, is destined to go the way of the dodo at this rate. 
Wait, all cinemas? Yes, because streaming. I guess. What makes you say that? The same reason that video rental stores and the creepy mustachioed dude selling bootleg VHS tapes door to door died out. Spinny disc players? <laughs> what? No. The internet. The internet was evil all along. Isn't that the cat meme database with porn? Yeah. Are we recording? Yeah, but now they've got videos. Non-pornographic ones too. What, really? They've got entire sites dedicated just to showing movies. And with directors beginning to just put their movies straight up on there without even considering physical theaters. Well, why would people leave their own familiar hovels when they could just watch the same movie even cheaper online? So, why do you care? This just sounds like an advancement. Evolution. It's more convenient for everyone. It's not like that. The cinema employs me and Mr. Dickens. Thought Mr. Dickens owned the cinema. But okay, you can just get a job on one of those sites. <coughs> you said it yourself. You're technically minded. You'd excel at it. I mean, the old guy won't, but whatever. It's not me that I'm worried about. It's Mr. Dickens. He's old, set in his ways. He's extraordinarily savvy at running a physical business, but I know he wouldn't bridge the gap. The physical silver screen is all he knows. Truth is, as much as I love the cinema, it's Mr. Dickens that I feel truly indebted to. He's given me so much, taught me so much, he's... Like a father to me. He told me once that showing movies to the world has been his dream ever since he was my age. If his dream dies, a part of him does too. I can't allow that to happen. Not sitting down anyway. I know we can get people to come back if we can release something truly engaging. What, like me laying eggs? Are you s insane? Something new, something people can't find anywhere else. I know people would love to hear a new story, even if it's weird. If it's one they can connect with. People cannot connect with my story. Look, this footage. I'm not just asking you to do this for me. I'm asking you to do this for Mr. Dickens and his dream. This is inspiring. I know it's a lot to ask, to allow yourself to become vulnerable before a whole town of people who've spurned you, all for a man you've never even met. But maybe you'd understand the importance of dreams, like I do. Or maybe you'll do it for me. I'm not doing it for him. Maybe for the old guy. Okay, you can use the footage. Accept. Dude, I... Oliver, you have no idea how gnarly it is to... How happy that... Thank you, sincerely. This footage, it's one of a kind. Hell, this footage alone tells a story that I don't think anyone has ever seen before, save you or me. Pity it's so short, though. If this was the whole movie, I'd be sad content-wise. But alas, a movie needs to be 40 minutes or longer to even qualify as a feature-length film. I don't know if an indie short film would drag the same crowds as that as, that as a feature-length movie would. That most certainly is a pickle, yes. See, I've got an idea. Oh no. Okay, so this is a big thing to ask, but... What if you and I got more footage tomorrow, you know, of you, of me? Yeah. I know it sounds strange, but the footage of you that I just got easily is the freshest thing I've ever filmed. Freshiest. Why not? I just made up a word. It's different, that's for sure. You think people want to see more of me? Why not? 
I'm so far into the storyline, it doesn't matter now. Absolutely. It's fine if you're not sure yet. You can give me your answer tomorrow. I'd be honored if you were willing, though. Anyway, you trying to make your own way home? Yeah, I mean, I live in a tent. I can't walk. <laughs> I just shot five green bowling balls out of my rear end, Oliver. <laughs> this is so amazing. Far too much hair trauma. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Okay, idea. Bicycle, really? How about we borrow the discarded bike left over there? I pedal and you ride in the basket. Sure. That sounds agreeable, yes. And not at all impossible. See you in the full game. That was one long ass demo. Wow. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that way more than I thought I would. This is so weird, but the writing is funny. I don't know if my voice acting makes it any fun to watch, but I might just release this as a full episode. Hmm. Oh, this was Dial Tom, the demo. I think I'm gonna go and buy the full thing now. Not sure I'm gonna make a whole let's play of the whole game, but the developer definitely needs some love for what he or she or they created here. Because it's just funny, I like it. So, yeah, if you want to see more of this, tell me, because I really want to know if this is interesting to anyone. Not that my videos get much attention anyway. But, yeah, thank you for watching this very interesting and weird game. My name is Oliver, here at Vienna Gamer, and I will see you next time.